Welcome to NEO Tariffs, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. For decades Boeing and Airbus have ruled the skies, shaping the very fabric of modern air travel with their iconic aircraft and global reach. Their names have become synonymous with international journeys, connecting continents and cultures and setting the standard for safety and innovation in aviation. But now, a new player is preparing for takeoff. China is stepping boldly onto the runway, determined to build its own world-class passenger jets and challenge the status quo. No longer content to be just the world's factory, China is investing heavily in research, technology, and talent, aiming to become a creator of high-tech marvels that can compete on the global stage. This is more than an industrial project. It's a quest for national pride, technological independence, and a new level of global influence. Boeing and Airbus have a century of experience vast supplier networks, and a reputation for safety and reliability that has been built over generations. China, by contrast, is starting from scratch, facing a steep learning curve, technical hurdles, and the challenge of earning global trust in a fiercely competitive industry. The stakes are high, success could shift the balance of power in aviation for generations, opening new markets and changing the way the world travels. For airlines, a new competitor means more choice, better prices, and the potential for innovative new aircraft designs. For passengers, it could mean new travel possibilities, more affordable tickets, and fresh options for exploring the world. For Boeing and Airbus, it's a direct challenge to their dominance, a wake-up call that the skies are no longer theirs alone. The world is watching closely as China officially enters the race, eager to see if this new contender can truly compete. The dragon has unfurled its wings, signaling a new era in global aviation. But the question remains, can it truly soar and challenge the kings of the sky, or will it face turbulence on its journey to the top? At the heart of China's aviation ambitions is the COMAX C919, a project that represents years of planning, investment, and national determination. This narrow-body jet is designed to compete head-to-head -head with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the backbone of global air travel. These two Western models have dominated the skies for decades, shaping the way people and goods move around the world. By targeting this market, China is aiming for the industry's core, not a niche. The single-aisle jet segment is the most lucrative and fiercely contested in aviation, making it a bold move for any newcomer. Development began over a decade ago, led by state-owned Comac, with the goal of serving China's massive domestic market first. The project brought together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and government agencies, all working toward a common vision. The C-919's maiden flight in 2017 was a moment of national pride, followed by years of rigorous testing. Each milestone was celebrated as a step closer to independence in the skies. For China, the C-919 is a strategic move to reduce reliance on foreign aircraft and keep billions in its own economy. It's about more than just airplanes. It's about economic security and technological self-sufficiency. It's a symbol of the Made in China 2025 initiative and a lever for global trade influence. The C919 showcases China's growing capabilities in high-tech manufacturing and its desire to set new standards. The C919 entered commercial service in 2023, flying domestic routes and building a track record. Each flight is a test, not just of engineering, but of China's ability to deliver on its promises. Every successful flight builds confidence at home and eventually abroad. The world is watching to see if China can truly challenge the established giants of aviation. The C919 is more than a machine. It's the embodiment of a nation's ambition, a flying symbol of China's quest for recognition and leadership on the world stage. The C919 looks familiar by design, making it easy for airlines to adopt. It uses advanced materials like aluminum lithium alloys and composites to reduce weight and improve fuel efficiency. The jet is powered by Leap 1C engines from CFM International, the same technology trusted by Boeing and Airbus. This reliance on Western tech is a practical step for performance, but also a challenge for China's self-reliance. The cockpit features modern glass displays and fly-by-wire controls, developed with Western partners. The cabin is designed for comfort, with a wider aisle and larger overhead bins. Comac claims cleaner air and lower noise, aiming to set new standards for passenger experience. These details matter in a competitive market. The C919 blends global technology with Chinese ambition. It's built to compete on both performance and comfort. Building a competitive jet is just the start. China faces a series of major hurdles on its journey to becoming a true aviation powerhouse. 
The dream of challenging established giants like Boeing and Airbus is ambitious, but the road ahead is filled with obstacles that go far beyond simply assembling an aircraft. The C919, China's flagship passenger jet, relies on a vast and intricate global supply chain. Many of its most critical components, such as advanced engines and sophisticated avionics, are sourced from leading Western companies. This dependence means that China's progress is closely tied to international cooperation and access to foreign technology. Such reliance creates a significant vulnerability. Geopolitical tensions, trade disputes, or export restrictions can disrupt the flow of essential parts, potentially grounding fleets and stalling production. To address this, China is investing heavily in developing domestic alternatives. However, Creating a world-class jet engine or avionics system is a monumental task that typically takes decades of research, testing, and refinement. The learning curve is steep, and catching up to established players is no small feat. International certification presents another formidable barrier. Without approval from US and European aviation regulators, the C919's market is effectively limited to China and a handful of friendly nations, restricting its global reach and commercial potential. Gaining this certification is a long, expensive, and highly technical process. It requires meeting rigorous safety and performance standards, but it is absolutely essential for any hope of global sales and international airline adoption. Beyond certification, COMAC must also build a worldwide support network for maintenance, spare parts, and technical assistance, an infrastructure that Boeing and Airbus have spent decades and billions of dollars perfecting. Airlines demand instant, reliable support anywhere in the world to keep their fleets flying safely and efficiently. Without this, even the most advanced jet will struggle to win international customers. The absence of a robust global support system makes international buyers hesitant as they cannot risk operational delays or safety issues due to lack of service. Overcoming these complex and interconnected challenges is absolutely critical for China's aviation ambitions. It will require sustained investment, innovation, and international collaboration. The path to global success is long, uncertain, and complex. But for China, the journey has only just begun. The C919's arrival shakes up the airline industry. For airlines, a third major supplier means more competition, better prices, and improved deals. For passengers, it could mean more routes, lower fares, and new standards for comfort. The C919's design may push Boeing and Airbus to improve their own cabins. Geopolitically, China gains a new tool of influence, offering attractive deals to developing nations. This could shift economic alliances and challenge Western dominance in aviation. But global safety standards must be maintained to avoid a fragmented system. The stakes are high as the world adapts to a new era of competition. The real test for the C919 is winning over independent, profit-driven airlines worldwide. Breaking into the global market is tough. Airlines value proven reliability and strong resale value. The C919 must build its reputation flight by flight. Most early orders come from Chinese airlines, providing a stable base and valuable data. Next. COMAC will target airlines in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where China's influence is strong. Price will be a key weapon. The C919 is expected to undercut Western rivals. China can also offer attractive financing, making the jet appealing to budget-conscious carriers. But airlines look at total cost of ownership, fuel, maintenance, training, and resale value. The C919 must prove it can compete over the long haul, not just on price. Winning global trust is the ultimate challenge. Can China truly challenge Boeing and Airbus? Not overnight. The duopoly's century of experience and trust can't be replaced quickly. For now, the C919 will mostly serve China's vast domestic market, a major achievement. But China plays the long game, investing for decades to master every aspect of aviation. The C919 is a learning platform. The real disruption may come with its successor in the 2030s. Future Chinese jets could leapfrog rivals with homegrown technology and new innovations. China's rise is inevitable. It's a matter of when, not if. The duopoly will likely become a triopoly, reshaping global aviation. The launch of the C919 is just the beginning. The race for the skies has a powerful new contender.